No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened, and if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Spread out, and look for survivors. We need to know what to do. still here somewhere. Rocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Kidna, let's save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Find cover and make every arrow count.
I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That would prove it. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There were oh. no dragons in the They are just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the Dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Yrlef? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Irla. Tell us. Do you believe in this Dragonborn business? Hmm. <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical Dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't an all. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales of legends. That was shouting, what you just did. Must be. You really are Dragonborn, then. I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. We taught that dragon not to mess with Whiterun, didn't we? Ismail, you did it! You killed the dragon. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. We will be back. This is not over. Are you feeling all right, dear? You look a little ill. There has been talk amongst the gods, but you are 
I need to ask you to stop. That shouting is making people nervous. Good. Glad we straightened that out. Finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. True. The gray beards really were summoning you. The masters of the way of the voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thum or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tybiseptim himself was summoned when he was the Talos of Atmora. Brangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this, what, dragonborn. Nor nonsense. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with her? That's the Greybeards business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city. Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. I serve Jarl Balgra as steward.
The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Lead the way. Trouble in White Run, and I'll pull you into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. This war is as stupid as our feud with Clan Grey Main. You there. We're looking for someone in White Run. We will pay good money for information. A woman, a foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in White Rock, so we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell. A Redguard woman. She may be somewhere in this city. She cannot hide from us forever. You have news of our quarry. 